Oh my god, I am so obsessed with these. You guys need to buy these. Shop the link in my bio. And you'll never see it again. <laughs> hey guys, so for today's video, we are going to be making fun of influencers a little bit. Myself included in the pack here. <laughs> but I saw a comment, I don't even know that it was my video, but I just saw a comment on YouTube and I've seen these comments multiple times before about how influencers and beauty content creators will say, Oh my god, I'm so obsessed with this product. And then you never see them use it again. And I was like, <gasps> the way that I am so guilty of that. <laughs> So I pulled a bunch of products for today's video that I have in the past said or, you know, wiggled around the word, have been obsessed with these products and they haven't been on my channel in a while. <laughs> so I pulled all of those products today. I don't know. I just thought it was funny because we certainly do use the word obsessed a lot. But in my defense, okay, I can be obsessed with the product and how it looks. But I don't reach for or talk about it as much on my channel because my channel is about the new and now. So even if I love a product, I still need to put it to the side to test the new. And you guys know I test a lot of new and the makeup industry is crazy with releases. So that's how that happens on my end. I can be obsessed with how it looks, obsessed with wanting to use it. But sometimes I just can't. It's very clear I can't use all of the products in my makeup collection. But I wanted to go back on those products that I said I was obsessed with. And we're going to be using them today. So huge thank you to Dalba for sponsoring today's video. We're going to get started with our skin prep. Listen, it is still pretty hot where I live in Miami. But I know it's like colder everywhere else. So we are going to treat our skin for some cold weather. We're going to be prepping our skin with the Dalba First Spray Serum. This is the best seller over at Dalba and literally there have been over 15 million of these sold, which is insane. The Dalba First Spray Serum is a multifunctional spray serum infused with Italian white truffle extract, avocado oil, sunflower seed oil, chia seed extract, and more to give a glowy look. And it's also going to enhance the vitality of the skin complexion. This has become a staple in my routine. I have it sitting on my makeup desk because you can use it as skincare, as setting spray, as primer, just any time of the day that you need some hydration and moisture to the skin. So if you look at it in the bottle here, there are two layers. The bottom layer right here is the serum layer. So this has natural antioxidant ingredients and it's going to help with wrinkles and fine lines and help take care of skin's elasticity. And the ingredients in here, a very high grade Italian white truffle extra. And then the top layer here is the oil layer and this is what's going to give you the glow to your skin and it's also going to lock in moisture for all day wear which is what a lot of setting sprays don't have you know have you had those setting sprays where your skin looks good it adds the hydration and then it's over once it dries. This oil is going to help lock that in. So to use it, we're going to shake it up. And this is really great for all skin types, especially sensitive skin types as well. That oil layer does help with kind of relieving the skin and calming it down. And I'm going to use it right now before my makeup prep. So take a look at my skin right now. It's pretty dull. It's the morning. Lack of skincare on my face. Let's spray it. Can even put some on the neck. And then we have an instant glow to the skin. I feel like my skin looks really revitalized. You can even blend it in if you want to. You don't have to, but I really want to get that moisture in. And this is also buildable. So if you want more of a glow or a thicker layer of moisture, go for it. I'm putting on a lot because I didn't put on any skincare this morning, so I really want that hydration. This is so great for the winter when our skin is starting to get drier as well. You can put it on at different times of the day, before makeup, after makeup, whatever you want, and it's going to give that kiss of hydration. And you can see here after that next layer how beautiful it looks. Honestly, this is so hydrating. I feel like you can use this also on the body as well, just wherever you need quick hits of moisture on a lazy skincare routine day, which is what I was having today. And the ingredients are also gonna help even out your skin tone and brighten the dull skin as well. I don't know if you noticed, but I feel like my skin was looking very dull beforehand and it definitely looks brighter and more refreshed right now. 
So this is a new essential product in my beauty routine. I love it for skincare. I love it for before makeup. You guys know I do have drier, more sensitive skin, and this is just the perfect fix for that. So I'll have the links down below to purchase the Dalba First Spray Serum. So don't be afraid to click on it if you would like to pick this up. Huge thank you again to Dalba for sponsoring this portion. Let's get into other products that I am obsessed with. So I feel like I talk about and mention this primer all the time and use it as reference, but then I never actually use it on my channel. So I'm gonna use the Tatcha the Liquid Silk Canvas. I have said many a times how this is one of my all time favorite set the bar kind of primer, but I can't tell you the last time that I even like physically used it. So we're gonna use it today. What really stands out to me about this product is how hydrating it feels on the skin but it does such a phenomenal job with smoothing as well which is kind of the main component of it the silk canvas that comes in the pot I just don't like as much because I felt like that it wasn't as hydrating for some reason I just didn't get any really results with it but this one I feel like works out so much easier it treats my skin so much nicer and I really do feel like it does smooth the skin and create a great canvas for before makeup I am still on the fan wagon when it comes comes to this product, okay? I just haven't used it, but I still really like it and I compare a lot of primers, especially with the putty primer situation that we have with everybody coming out with their own primer situation. This one is good, it's the bar. Okay, foundation. This one, I was like, holy grail, holy grail, holy grail. I love this foundation when it came out this summer and then haven't heard about it from me much since. <laughs> Sorry about that, but we're gonna use the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum Foundation. It is still beautiful. It's a great full coverage foundation. I don't know, I just haven't reached for it as often, but it still is really, really great. It doesn't take a lot away from this. I'm gonna go ahead and use an IT Cosmetics number no. seven brush to spread this out. I think the shade is a little lighter for me, but it should be okay to blend out. I want to use a sponge mostly to blend this out because it does have that fuller coverage, but I do want to use the brush just to get the major spread around the face. Okay, so we'll start off with that layer. Going to use my sponge to push everything in. You can see we are getting very, very full coverage this product and I feel like I didn't even use that much so this is still a really nice full coverage foundation and I haven't picked it up in a while but I am really liking how it is making my skin look. I'm pretty hit or miss when it comes to Zanessa Myricks. I really don't like a lot of her products honestly but this is one and the yummy skin primer that is just so stinking nice. So that's where we're at with this foundation. It still is a really nice full coverage foundation from Sephora. Okay, eyebrows was a difficult one for me because when I love a brow product, I won't stop using it. But I have gone through multiple stages where I've talked about the M Cosmetics brow products and I haven't picked them up in a while. So I thought I'd bring these guys back. So we have the Fine Liner Brow Pencils as well as the, can't find the name, but the Brow Gel. I'm going to use the shade Deep Taupe in the pencil. And what I like about these so much is how thin they are. Do you see? that it's just so tiny exactly what I like in a brow pencil so I'm gonna start off by defining the lower part of the brow down here then I'm gonna brush my brows down and I'm going to define the arch here yeah see this is the perfect brow pencil if you ask me it doesn't deposit too much color it doesn't over blend it gives you just enough you can draw hair like strokes it still is that girl when it comes to brow pencil really really nice still feeling these and then let's go ahead and use the brow gel now now what I really liked about the brow gel is how small the spoolie is so I feel like it really does allow me to brush the hairs in the direction that I like now I've been into a little bit more intense brow gels so this is my official statement I'm not obsessed with this anymore. I'm retracting the title. I am into a little bit more heavy duty ones that can give my brow a little bit more direction. Cause you can see this one is a little weak. I can't get as fluffy of a look as I can with other products that I have in my collection. So I'm officially unobsessed with this brow gel, but it's still nice. 
<laughs> just not to my taste quite as much anymore. Now, one thing that I do always talk about the importance of is priming the eyelids. I have said multiple times that an eye primer is better than just concealer, especially with those of you who have oily eyelids. I always recommend Urban Decay Primer Potion. I am also always too lazy to actually go into my makeup collection and reach for this, so I am constantly using concealer. So for today, we're gonna use this product, which I have been using for probably 12, 13 years now, and <laughs> I've definitely used the word obsessed for this, especially back in the day, so we're gonna use this. And this is a sample size, because I feel like I get them all the time in my orders from Sephora, so I never actually buy this anymore. I just get the samples. Okay, I'm gonna do one eye off camera, and we'll be back to do the eye look together because I want it to be cute. I'm filming another video after this. Okay guys, for the eyeshadows, this was a no-brainer for me to pick these because I am obsessed with these, but I never, ever, ever use them in my videos. So we're using my Indie Single Shadows. I love these, I do swatch and sips on these, and then you never hear about them again from me. So we're gonna use them because they are that great. So all of the mattes that I use today are from my Sydney Grace Z palette. I pulled out the shades that I'm using, so that's what all those spaces are in for, but ugh, literally drooling looking at these Sydney Grace shadows and I'm not even gonna lie to you like I don't use them off camera either I'm always so focused on palettes since I do so many palette videos that the singles just don't get some love so we're gonna give them some love today so I'm starting off this is Sydney Grace electric lime now I don't know if these shades are discontinued or anything I'm sure they are a few of these shades are quite old so if you can't get the shades anymore I'm sorry but my message to you is Sydney Grace and Tara moons and a few other brands have amazing single shadows that are so nice and I know a lot of you love your single shadows but I don't reach for them as much I'm more of a palette person I like it pre curated for me but dang even the Sydney Grace mattes are just so so good and then I'm kind of neutralizing it because that was an electric lime color so I'm using backwoods next as you can see, it has a little bit of pukiness to it. I'm using a Refer number no. 1 brush. And I just used a Refer 27 brush before this. So I'm patting this in the outer corner. Then we're going to blend it out a little bit. Do you see how that just kind of took it down a little bit? It's not so electric lime anymore. And these are a great mask because they're not overly pigmented. You can build them, but they blend very easily. And then we're gonna build up the depth even more. I'm going into Wild Life next, which is a little deeper. And I'm putting all the depth out here in the outer corner. This brush is great for patting the color down and then working it out. And then look at this shade. I love how dark this one. This is called Trailhead. I'm going to use a number 26 from Refer. It's like a really big pencil brush. And I'm going to build up the depth out here. I like this because you can get kind of that wing shape. This. And then I'm taking the number one brush and blending it out. Why is it focused on my ear right now? That's weird. And then I do want to bring back some lime. So we're going in with that first shade that we used. It's time for the magic so I love doing swatcher sips on multi chromes from indie brands Terra moons is my favorite for extra glitzy shades right here so I pulled space case right here and here's the thing with these indie shadows you only need one on the eyelid so I'm just gonna get a little bit on my finger it has like a yellow green shift and you only need a little bit because they spread out so stinking much. Ugh. Right? I will say, if I didn't do what I did for a job, I don't know how many palettes I'd be buying because these indie <laughs> shadows would do me so good. I'm gonna go back into Tuxedo from Sydney Grace. This is a matte black. And I'm going to kind of smoke and blend the outer corner to get with the lid color. But yeah, the lid color is honestly all you need. Need more black on this eye. 
I mean, like, yes. The Indie Shadows, as I've always stated, they've got it going on. Yes, I'm still obsessed with these, even if I don't use them as much. They deserve the word obsessed to be paired with them. So I'm going to clean up underneath real quick because we did get a little bit of fallout and we will move on to under eyes. I want to do some under eye corrector because I talk about how great under eye corrector is and then I never use them especially this one. But the Charlotte Tilbury under eye corrector is really good. I'm gonna use the shade two. I have number one as well, which is what I was holding up. And it's just like a peachy kind of shade. I feel like I've had a little bit more under eye darkness than I used to. So it's actually quite good. And I'm using this. Maybe I should make it more of a part of my regular routine because this does help with needing less concealer. That being said, you did put this extra layer underneath your concealer, but if you like a brightening concealer, then this is so important because gray will show underneath of a brighter concealer. Which brings us to our concealer. Now this one did get a ton of use on my channel. It just hasn't been of late. This is the Armani Power Fabric Concealer. Still one of the best. This is another benchmark product for me where I compare a lot of concealers to this one. So I'm just gonna put some underneath the eye. Put some back here as well. And what I love about this concealer is how seamlessly and effortlessly it just blends out. It takes no pushing or tugging at all. And it looks so skin like yes. This is still a really beautiful concealer. I pulled it for today's video though because it has been a little bit of time since I used it. And I was like, well, am I still obsessed with you though? I think so. We'll see. We'll see how it wears but I do think so. Just using a brush, get closer to these edges right here. And then I have a couple of different powders to set the face. So the first one is from Makeup Forever. I went on and on about this powder for a bit and then went cold turkey on it because I put it in the wrong drawer and I forgot about it. <laughs> this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Setting Powder in the shade Vanilla. So I have some in the cap and I'm just gonna press underneath. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I just swallowed some powder. That was not very good. And then I did have another powder that I wanted to talk about. This one is from Nabla. It is so good. There just hasn't been a video idea where this has fit in, but I've been wanting to use it. This is the close-up smoothing pressed powder, one of the most underrated products. I'm telling you. So I'm gonna go ahead and just press this anywhere. I want a little extra blurring. Let's see how it does on the forehead. Yeah. It's just so good, you guys. What a beautiful blurring powder. I'm staying away from powder on the outskirts of my face because I'm about to use a cream bronzer, one that was super hyped up when it launched. I couldn't stop talking about it. And then, yeah, here they are now. <laughs> this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. I have a couple of shades, but I think I'm just gonna use this one right here, the Fair Pale. No, I'm kidding. We're gonna use the medium. I've changed my mind. This Morphe brush is gonna be really good to apply it. So I'm just gonna press it underneath. Oh, this is pretty. It, honestly though, it's not my all-time favorite cream bronzer. I think it is a nice bronzer, but kind of reflecting now that the hype of it is gone and all of that. It is very, very pretty, but I prefer a little bit of a more emollient cream bronzer, though I'm sure this will last a little better through sweat than those emollient ones, right? So that's the trade-off. Trying not to apply it too much. Gonna use a sponge and we're gonna use this to buff it out, make it look more airbrushed into the skin. And then to set it, I'm gonna use this guy. I haven't used this in a while. This is the Glowish Luminous Pressed Powder in the shade Light Medium. I had originally purchased this to use as a powder foundation, but it was entirely too dark. And turns out it is beautiful for a very natural bronzer or setting over something a little bit more intense like a cream bronzer that I just used. I haven't used this in a bit and I'm excited because I used to love this. So I'm gonna use a Sigma Dream Blush Brush and it just looks so airbrushed on top of the cream bronzer. It softens everything. It's so Oh my gosh. And it has a very pretty luminosity to it as well. Stunning. Okay. Before I get to face color, like blush and stuff, let's finish up the lower lash line. So we have to start off with electric lime, the lower lash line. We want this color peeking through. 
Then I'm gonna go into wildlife and I'm just gonna put this on the outer half of the lower lash line. This is building a little bit of depth. We still want that very natural gradient that looks well blended. Trailhead, this is that close to black but not quite black shade. And this is gonna bring the upper lash line or the upper lash, the upper lid. This is gonna bring the upper lid and the lower lash line into a cohesive look. And I don't think we need to go with the black. I think that's good enough. Then last thing, I'm taking a small brush and we're going into Space Case from Terra Moons. Just a little bit and I just kind of want to bring a little bit of sparkle down here. This doesn't apply the best with a brush, but the sparkle just completes it, right? <laughs> fabulous! So fabulous! Now back to blush. I always feel like the M Cosmetics Heaven Glow blushes have always been something that have gotten a lot of praise from me, but I haven't used them as much on camera. I actually do use these a lot off camera because they're perfect for every day. So that's kind of where the obsession with these come from. It's from off camera action. So this is the shade from M Cosmetics in the Heaven Glow formula, Faded Clementine. I'm using a Sigma Dream Contour. I really like this because you won't get a heavy wash of blush with this because there's not a lot of density to it. It gives such a pretty glow. Do you see that? So good. Yeah, this blush is beautiful. Get a little bit on the nose. And then for highlights, I remember talking up the Persona Cali Glow Highlighter a lot. So I will pull this out because honestly, I feel like this has lost this title of Obsessed because I talked about how much I thought it was beautiful and then that was it. So <laughs> let's use this. Let's see. Oh, I mean... This is, I can see why I used the term for this though. It's beautiful. Okay, I'm re obsessed with this. It blends into the skin so nice. No, it still deserves to be there. I'm dumb and haven't used it that often. I mean, I've used this. I know I have, but I haven't paid close attention to it lately. It's the business. It is. No, for eyeliner, la like mascara, lashes, and all of that, I, I couldn't really think of anything pertaining to the particular topic. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop on the ABH liquid eyeliner and then the hourglass unlocked instant extensions mascara and a random pair of dirty falsies <laughs> and I'll be back for lips. All right, let's talk lips. I am using the Nopla Cosmetics Long Lasting Lip Liner in the shade Nude 3. I remember in the past talking about how this had one of the best color selections of nude lip liners, and I actually do reach for this a lot. I just don't talk about it, but they really are great colors. Oh, so creamy. amazing super easy to apply and then lipstick i've always talked about loving the patrick ta oshi single lipstick just his lipstick formula in general again another formula where i feel like i don't talk specifically about the formula a lot but i use it a lot on this side like i just grab for it pop this baby on i wish it was a tad more hydrating but it's still really beautiful and I love the colors that he has. Okay, that's a look. Give me a moment, pulling myself together, and I'll see you guys out. All right, guys, so here is the final look using products that I am or have been obsessed with in the past. This is all just fun and games. Having a little fun at influencers, including myself, because I most definitely use the word obsess a little bit too much when it comes to products. So we're re-evaluating these. Like, am I really obsessed with these? And both of these, no, I think most of these do deserve such a title. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoyed hanging out with me using some old products that are still really, really nice. And again, a huge thank you to Dabo for sponsoring today's video. I will have the link down below to the first spray serum. And I noticed where I sprayed it on my body and my chest, it has a really beautiful hydrated glow to it as well. I love hydrating serum sprays like this. This one is so stinking good. So I highly recommend this one. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.